So this is our new home. I wanted to give you a proper tour on YouTube. I did do a little bit on Instagram and TikTok, but I wanted to give the full tour of the place here whilst it's pretty much completely empty. The only thing we currently have set up is the, it's okay. The only thing we currently have set up is an airbed, but we're getting some furniture in the next few days, which we're really excited about. Um, but this is the kitchen. So, as you can see, there's a run of cabinetry over here, which we're not sure where it's from. Oh, no, we're trying to work it out. But... Trying to figure out so we can buy some like inserts for it. But it's a really nice kitchen. It's a good finish. Um, it's the bottom is shaker. Uh, no, it's in frame. Sorry, um, but just really simple kind of like slab kitchen, and then the tops. Oh, that's the attractive panel. I still don't know where anything <laughs> is. The um, tops are, they have like a wood veneer inside, which we really like, it looks nice. Um, and then over here we have a small utility room, which we will be doing like a full transformation of. I mean, everywhere will change and we'll obviously be like dressing it all initially and then we'll be doing things like flooring and lighting and choosing paint colours and stuff but it's got really good bones which is what we wanted we didn't want something that needed like years worth of renovating so yeah this is the small utility room I'm not sure how well where are the lights for this room I still don't know where anything is yeah um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see but basically that's just like a storage cabinet here which we've just used for like boxes and coats and things we're we're using and then the other side there's the boiler and washing machine as well which we paid a bit extra for to get with the house because it was new so they could have taken it with them um but we thought it would be handy to have one um so that's the kitchen then over here this kind of open space we have like a drive outside which is great because means we can get an electric car, which is <laughs> perfect. And there's so much natural light um, in these two windows and it's quite private as well. There's like gates and stuff, um, which is lovely. I have already broken the gate. <laughs> broken a few things <laughs> so far. I've broken the gate, I've broken a window, I've broken the toilet. So <laughs> things come through, so hopefully I won't break anything Fingers else. Fingers crossed. But yeah, the windows are really lovely. They are painted, I think, in is it charcoal by Neptune? Charcoal by Neptune, yeah. Um, which is a really nice colour anyway. It's like a slightly... Mm, it's, like, it's slightly warm It's like a bluer black. black. Like a bluey black, but not a really grey blue. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. And it's quite dark right now, but a lot of natural light usually floods in. So that's perfect. And we're planning on having a dining table here. But I will do kind of a separate video, I think, that's like our plans for the house. Yeah. As well as just like some more normal vlogging. Um, over here we have a like larder, Ooh, me. like a larder unit. We basically just filled it with like alcohol and <laughs> We will be doing like a proper organization and, and trying to live as like similarly to how we do in the cottage here as well. Um, like keeping everything organized and quite calm. And then we've got two ovens, hide and slide, which I love. <laughs> I know they're like been and gone, but I really like that. Yeah, it feels like such an novelty to us, like yeah. having an oven like this, because we have the like right. range cooker, which we love, but obviously you get like pros and cons to both, so it's yeah. nice. Nice to have both. Yeah. Um, and then that's a microwave as well, which we never had a microwave when we lived together. No. Um, so that's exciting. <laughs> and then through here is the living room. Just take this off. Again, it gets so sunny yeah. in here. It's yeah, I mean, you can kind of see, but see like, it's normally a bit sunny. Yeah, it's a darker day today. Um, but yeah, I'll do some like, overlays of the full room. But the um, there's this lovely fire with like a marble side, which we actually need to wipe. Like, <laughs> to give it a little clean, which we're going to do later this evening, give over a bit of a clean, which will be good. And then the floors are a really natural sizal, which is lovely, it's such a nice floor um, that runs kind of through both spaces, but it obviously does get like sun burnt, it gets 
like water staining like as any kind of natural carpet does but it feels really textural and warm and when we have furniture in we think it'll definitely be good for the time being we'll probably eventually change it to something a bit more hard wearing because with the two dogs and having friends over and stuff obviously things can get damaged quite easily so yeah it's a really lovely like open space and if we come over here then there is another space that kind of connects to the living room um, which we're kind of thinking of not using the living room for watching TV but more like reading and chatting, having wine and that kind of stuff and then using this space as a bit of like a snug, um, maybe with a projector but we're not sure, we need to like sit down and design it properly because we've only had the keys for a few days really and in that time obviously my sister's had her baby so we were busy there um, there's been like other things going on, so yeah, we're going to get to that very soon, <laughs> but um, that's that space. Out here is a really lovely courtyard, which, you can hear the birds singing. Yeah, it's also gone really sunny, which is If you can hear that, yeah, which is nice. There's a big tree here, which I did actually find out exactly what it is, so I'll tell you now in case anyone's interested. It is. A multi-stemmed osmanthus is evergreen and flowers in March with a delicate white flower. Cute. That's nice. Um, so we can look up how to care for that properly. Um, yeah, it's a really lovely space, all kind of painted white, which reflects more light into the living room, which we're happy about. Um, and then it's perfect for the dogs. We'll get some nice furniture. And then it's also great because there's doors into the bedroom, which I'll show you in just a second. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and then through here, so there, just to explain, there used to be a wall there in the room that I was stood in that we're going to have like a snug. There used to be a wall up, which the previous owners removed, which I'm really happy about because it like brightens the whole space and makes yeah. it feel more open. But they left the door here in case someone would have wanted to change it back. Um, we wouldn't want to change it back, so we might actually remove... That Either that door or this door, door we're not this sure, door, yeah. One of them, we'll see how kind of our layout works, but literally, it just <laughs> comes to the same place, so it's useless, and it would obviously be more useful to put furniture yeah, like, on the space. back of one of them. Um, and then if you come through here, it's the bathroom. I won't turn the lights on because the fans will come on, but it's again a really nice bathroom. We will update it. Yeah. Um, but it has a shower, a toilet, a vanity, and a bath as well. So it's literally perfect. It's bigger than our bathroom in the cottage, quite a bit bigger. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's nice. It's kind of strange. They painted, I think it's shell by Neptune in here. Yeah. Um, but then the tiles are obviously quite yellowy. So I would almost think that it would actually look nicer if you painted the walls a yellow colour. So yeah. I think potentially for like a short term fix I will paint the walls in like a creamy yellow colour yeah um, just so that it's slightly less jarring um, and then eventually we will redo the bathroom but we'll have to like resave for that but we'll obviously document it all on YouTube and we'll probably go for something like more contemporary here because this is a very similar style to the cottage with the like subway tiles and tongue and groove um, and we have like an oak vanity in the cottage, so it is quite similar, whereas here I think I'd like to go for something slightly more contemporary, so looking forward to doing that. Um, and then, final space to show you, which is the bedroom, let me turn the wall lights on in here. Is it that one? No. I always do that. Silly. We cannot get the light switches right. Um, so this is the bedroom, which is a really, really lovely size. We have ordered a bed, which is arriving this week. Fingers crossed. No, in a week, so yeah. only a few days after you're watching this, but we're really excited about that. And then we've got a bench from the cottage, which we've been saving to go at the end of the bed. So hopefully that looks nice, because we're right at home. Um, we bought these lights again with the house, which we really love. And funnily enough, we have very similar ones in the cottage Yeah. from John Lewis. So we'll leave his link down below in case you like them. They're yeah. wireless wall lights. But these ones are controlled by the mains, which... Yeah, the previous things did like really cool. I don't know if they did it. I'm assuming they did, but all the lights are kind of plugged in. But then you can control them on the switches. Yeah, which, which is handy. Cool. Yeah, very handy. Other things about the house, I guess, were 
saying. <laughs> uh, so it's a one-story lodge, as you would have yeah. seen. It's all quite like self-contained, which I love. Yeah. Um, it was built. Was it five years ago? Just over. Yeah, just five over five to years, seven ago, yeah. years ago. And so it's really new. So everything like functions really well. Mm. Um, and I love that we have obviously two small homes to have the benefit of like having somewhere that's a bit more like old fashioned and period yeah. and somewhere that's more contemporary. Um, oh, there's also a bit more drips I forgot to say, oh, yeah. um, which is very handy storage. I won't show you inside because we've just like shoved all of our <laughs> clothes because we don't have anywhere to store anything yet. Um, everything is underfloor heated, yeah. which is really great. So there's no radiators. Um, anything else you can think of that I haven't covered? I don't think so. The the doors here are what go out onto the courtyard again. Yeah, which is they really just like handy. go out there. So that's and really nice also, to wake up to. This is a blackout. Yeah. Blind, and then the doors in this room and the windows in the kind of snug room have shutters, which yeah. are really lovely. So we'll definitely we definitely benefited from a lot of things that they did. Yeah, they had really lovely. It was really nice. Place, so yeah, that's good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like. It's funny because it's not a huge it's house. It's smaller obviously. than the cottage. It's smaller than yeah. the cottage. And a, a lot of people, I think, thought that when we moved, and he, I had like snarky messages from people saying when we mentioned that we were moving, that we'd probably be in like a five bedroom house and everything we said about small homes would be out the window. And that just is not true at all. Like we genuinely love smaller houses. We love the kind of cozy feeling. The dogs love it. We it's cheaper to run, cheaper for bills, everything like that. So we really love that like aspect of this house as well. And obviously the benefit is, is that we have two smaller houses, um, yeah. which obviously is very privileged, but they're two, they're two one bedroom houses yeah. really, which I mean- Just works perfectly is, for us. Yeah, perfect for us and our lifestyle. Um, it's so funny, isn't it? Cause both the houses combined still smaller than I think like all of our friends houses yeah. or like family which is nice because we like it works for our life yeah. like having the balance of both um but yeah that's it that's everything I don't think there's anything else to cover but mm. if you have any questions then please let us know down below and we'll try and answer them in the next couple of videos but we are going out kind of like shopping and antiquing yeah. for the first time today. Desperate to find a dining table, aren't we? <laughs> so desperate to find a dining table. So yeah, we're gonna go to some antiques places in Tetbury, which is only kind of 20 minutes. Is it 20 minutes away? Half an hour? I think it's like 40 minutes. Oh, it's further. Yeah. Oh, Dalesford and stuff. Is yeah, closer. that's like 30 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that now and we'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.